So real quick, let me do a little intro on Jay. Jay and I, believe it or not, um, I remember Jay when he was a very little kid. Now, there's an age difference between Jay and me. Jay, how much how much of an age difference is there between you and me? I'm 49. I, I will be 30 years old in uh, just about a month. 30 years old. Okay, so 38. 30, uh, 38. 30, okay, so there's about a 10-year difference. So mm -hmm. I remember going into a local hardware store in close. Can we just be clear that the 10-year difference is I'm younger? Can we be clear about that? Uh, no, the 10-year <laughs> difference is that Jay is obviously older than me. <laughs> and that, um, you know, I remember going into the local hardware store in close to New Jersey where I grew up. And it was hometown, hometown hardware, right? What was it called? Uh, windmill, windmill hardware. Windmill. Windmill it's hardware. Not hometown, it's not hometown hardware. Right. Which is ironic because his grandfather had the absolute worst toupee in the world. And if you've ever seen Jay's hair, Jay, show me hair. I mean, what's <laughs> up? That's real. But his grandfather had, I don't even know what the hell it was. It was like a, it was like a dead raccoon on top of his head. And between him and his dad... Um, and it was just too funny because my father and his his grandfather were very friendly, and they always used to joke around. And we, Jay and I, actually reconnected a couple of years back, and it was just odd that you know, I'm like wait, Levine, and he said, yeah, Coaster, and like Marinoff, and I'm like wait, your dad is blah blah blah. So it was just, the whole thing was just ironic. So it's it's weird in the industry of real estate how people can get intertwined. And you never know where people come from and where they don't come from. But so this is Jay Levine. Jay uh, runs a real estate company uh, with his lovely wife, Catherine. It's 194 Real Estate, and they are based out of New Milford, New Jersey. Jay, tell us a little bit about um, the company. Tell us a little bit about real estate. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. First off, I just want to make sure that you guys, that you can hear me. Okay, I'm not choppy to you, right? No, I hear you. Okay. All right. So um, first off, Matt, thank you. Um, you know, you you did not lie. We, we've known each other longer than we knew we knew each other, uh, if that makes sense. But we, you know, we did we did meet and this industry definitely intertwines. It's small. It's a small world. And uh, especially with the amount of realtors that are out there, it's not odd to come across uh, people in the industry. But uh, again, thank you so much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Um, what you do for people is amazing. I know you, um, you know, your people before profit um hashtag is something that we we live by and didn't have words behind until we met you so thank you for that um but yeah we own we own a company in new milford um we've owned it since uh, we've been open since september of 2019 um september 11 2019 actually we right before that to jump a little bit further we owned a verizon wireless store and uh, we actually closed that store down on september 11 2018 uh, and opened up our firm September 11, 2019, not on purpose. Um, we've been realtors for just about four years. We were with another company prior to that. Um, but for us, it's just always been about uh, relationships. Um, you know, my father, you mentioned, owned a hardware store. And I remember growing up in, in that environment. And, you know, I, I call it like the cheers of hardware stores because, you know, people come in, everybody knew, everybody knew each other's name. Uh, it was a good time. You felt comfortable. They were building rapport with people and building relationships with people. And it was, you know, you were coming in for a hammer and nails and, and you left with a hammer and nails. But what you also got was, you know, um, an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, a friend, um, people that really stuck with you in good times and bad times. It was way more than, than a hardware store. Right. Um, and that's just the example that I was always given in not only uh, business, but just in general of how to, how to treat people. So that's really what the basis is of our company is making sure that we put the people first um, and make sure relationships are the equity that we, you know, that we're monitoring and measuring a lot. So, you know, so. You, gave, you gave us a little, you know, feedback about the Verizon and stuff like that. So I guess one of my questions is where have you been? And when I say where have you been, you know, it's four years have been in real estate. You came up pretty quick between you and your wife. You got a solid team. Uh, you started with a boutique agency and then yep. you, you eventually, you know, decided to go out on your own. And, you know, it's no secret. You guys are all over the place. As far as I'm concerned, you think New Milford, you think, you know, Levine team, because you guys are literally all over the place, which is pretty cool. Give me the name. Yeah. Of, give, me, give me the idea, the concept behind the company name. 
So 194 Real Estate Group is our address. Uh, 194 uh, Main Street is where we're located physically. Um, there is, it's kind of a funny story, and I don't have the exact wording in front of me, but we were on a, a an open house. This was prior to uh, COVID, when we could have an open house. And uh, an agent walked in and asked me the same thing. Is there a meaning behind the 194? And I had said, they actually thought it was a Bible quote. And I said, well, no, it's not. It's not a, it wasn't a Bible uh, quote. Um, it's our address. So I looked it up later on, and, and I'm going to look it up again to know. But uh, 194 actually stands for integrity. Uh, there's there's a couple different meanings for that, and there is some Bible quotes about it. Was it was it was very fitting, um, and I uh, again I, I probably should look more into that because it actually does coincide with our belief system as well from what I was reading. But it's it's an interesting story. But it is our, it is our address. <laughs> okay, so it has nothing to do with the Bible. It has nothing to do with the Bible. Although, if that's what makes you feel good, then that's fine too. Um, we're we're good with that. Yeah, we're we're all inclusive at one ninety four. Got it. Got it. You're equal opportunist employer. I understand that. So let me ask you a question. Uh, we're going to yeah. bounce around a little bit because I have a couple of questions that I that I've written down. But you know, I'm asking people right now what's going on during the COVID period, and I'm getting mixed reviews. I'm getting people that are stating to me that COVID's destroyed their business. They feel it's destroyed the industry. But, you know, you and I talk regularly. And I asked you, can we talk about it? You said, absolutely. So I'm going to let you explain what you said to me. My question to you was COVID-19 impacting Jay's team. Yes or no? Good or bad? Uh, absolutely impacting our team. And I don't want to say good or bad. Um, I will say that we are taking the situation that is in front of us and figuring out ways for it to work for us and not against us. Um, what we have seen, we have seen, um, I don't want to say an increase in business because I don't know what business would have been like without COVID because we were very busy prior to COVID. Right. Um, but I can tell you that this doesn't feel too much off of what a normal spring market feels like. Um, other than the fact that there is a little bit of a lower inventory because there are people that are nervous, but we've had in the pandemic, We've had 10 under contract and, a, and an attorney review at this point, um, and then two actually closed during the, the pandemic. So we're, we're not slow, um, and we're just trying to make sure that we move this industry and people forward without fear, um, but still being empathetic. Listen, this is real. I'm not, I'm, I spoke to somebody today that I said, I want to go show a house, and I might not be able to show it because they were diagnosed a couple days ago. And, you know, it, so it's, it's, it's far from over, but we do... Um, whether, whether what side of the political side you're on or what your opinion is on COVID itself, I'm not here to argue that. I, I, I don't even know if I have enough facts to argue that. What I can tell you is that I'm looking to keep my family safe. I'm looking to keep my team members safe. I'm looking to keep my clients safe. I'm, I'm looking to make sure that not only our industry, but all industries can move forward as best they can. And, you know, we support selling and buying homes is, is, a, is a huge, you know, listen, you sell somebody's home, you're also helping someone purchase a home. You know, even if you sell to investors, that investor you're helping put food on the table for his family, and you're also creating a new home for two other fam another family to, to live in. So, you know, you're creating legacy. And so we have to keep that, that we keep that focus that we're doing good in this world and we need to keep moving forward safely and, and make sure this business is good. So where, where this business is going right now is we're doing things a little differently. Yes, we are, you know, wearing gloves and masks and we're, um, you know, making sure that we're doing one at a time and we're not overcrowding any areas, but interest rates are super low. If you're out there right now buying, you're not just like kicking tires. Like it, it would be, it doesn't make sense for somebody to be out, out risking themselves and going out in this if they're not serious buyers. So the people that we've been showing houses are all serious buyers. And when they find something they like, they put offers on it. 